Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and bonjour from beautiful Paris. We are back in my favorite city and just checked in our hotel and I have to say I am really pleased with our choice this time. We're staying at the Bowman Hotel. It's directly in the city center located on Boulevard Ausmann. I think I couldn't be more happy with our choice this time. I'd say let's start off with a little room tour right away and then I will take you with us to discover the city. So this is our entrance area. Here we have the wardrobe, mirror on the right and when we turn to the left we have here the bedroom. Beautiful French Parisian aesthetic. Here we have a little desk area, little workstation. Let's check out the view. Oh, we have a beautiful courtyard view. Very nice. Down there, there's a restaurant and breakfast room. And that's our view. Courtyard of the hotel. I love it. Very quiet here. And here we have the bathroom. The shower. And I just realized that we have a total toilet. I think this is the very first time I'll be using such a toilet, random side fact. I think it's more known to my Asian friends, but I've heard only good things about this, so. Let's see <laughs> how this will go. This is just a short trip. I would almost say weekend getaway, except for that it's not the weekend, but we'll basically stay free nights here. We don't really have that many plans. We just want to be spontaneous and do whatever we feel like, what we're up to, and just enjoy the beauty of the city. We have some points, so we want to go to the Odor Museum, for example, but you will see all of that throughout the video. For now, the plan is to get some lunch. We woke up very early today, so we we're both super tired and hungry. So we booked a reservation at Lulu, which is located at the Louvre. I can't wait to try the truffle pizza there. I wanted to go to Lulu's, I think, the last three times when we were in Paris, but Either we didn't get a table or last time we made a reservation but it was cancelled because the kitchen was on fire. So fingers crossed that everything will go right now and we will finally get our truffle pizza there, which I've been dying to try out for the longest time. But one thing we still have to do and that's the bed bugs check. I'm sure you have heard about the bed bugs crisis going on in Paris and of course we were also freaking out and completely paranoid watching all the TikTok videos and all the news that we've seen, like all those horror stories about the bed bugs crawling everywhere. So we will do a quick check and see if we will find some traces. I hope we don't because otherwise I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, so we checked the bed in detail and also like all the corners where we think there could be bugs, but we didn't find any traces. So I hope we will be safe and we won't be surprised by some guests that we didn't invite, but I think it looks good. So let's hope for the best that we will not bring home any souvenir that we did not want to bring home. <laughs>
boxes, my Gucci scarf, Massimo uh, Gucci mitt, an H&M coat, a pair of Zara suit pants, and my beloved Twitch and a nice bag, and a pair of new bathrooms. Good morning guys, our second day in Paris just started and we are super motivated. It is such a beautiful city and we had such a nice day yesterday. We did a walk through the Chandon de Tuileries and had a very lovely lunch at Lulu's. We tried the truffle pizza and it was delicious. Real recommendation, it is worth the money I would say. I think it is the best truffle pizza I ever had, I dare to say. And then we had some coffee at Café Kitsune where I got another cup. If you watched my previous Paris vlog you might know that last time I brought back home a white cup so I got a matching black one for my boyfriend. Let me show you. It is inside of this bag here. Let me open it up to quickly show you. Coffee is, by the way, so good. It's not only just the merch, but also the coffee is very good at Café Kitsune. And this is the cup, matching black one to the white one that I already have at home. Perfect little souvenir, I would say. And then we did some shopping. We went to Acne Studios, where I tried on a very nice Christmassy silver bag that looks like a little gift. I will show you some footage. And then we also stopped by Chanel at 31 Rue Combon, the iconic store. And guess what? I was lucky and found something. So I brought back home this huge shopping bag with something very nice inside that I've been considering to get for quite some time. I would say I've started looking for this like a year ago or even longer. But as always, I didn't jump on the hype train immediately and then I missed out on it and I was too slow on getting my hands on this piece. But luckily they had one left exactly my size. So of course I didn't hesitate and I made it mine. I will not show you now what is inside. I think I will do a dedicated own video on everything that I got in Paris. But so far this is what we got. And let's see what else we will find throughout the next days. Make sure to subscribe to not miss out on that one. Yeah, I would say we start our second day now. The plan is of course to get some coffee first and then we will probably stop by Goyard. 
Yesterday there was no queue in the morning, so I hope this will be the same for today. It is 20 to 12 now. The store is open since 10, I think, so I hope not too many people are there yet because I'm not in the mood for queuing up. But yeah, let's see if I will find a nice bag there. This is something I've been thinking about because there are not so many Goya stores in the world and Paris is probably the best place to get them because this is where everything started and where the brand comes from. So we'll see if I will get lucky there and then we will see what we'll be up to. See you later, guys! delicious cheesecake it is definitely as good as it looks on all the instagram pics i have to say and now we are heading to kiev my boyfriend wants to check out some pieces there i think he is having an eye on the football collection there are some nice bomber jackets or college jackets maybe we'll also stop by ms and i think that's already for the day because it is already quarter past five so it's getting a little bit dark already and my hair also has given up because it's raining all day so my waves said goodbye to me in the rainy weather but we embraced it and somehow the mood is also really nice i have to say rainy paris also has its charm Our third day in Paris just started. It's Friday today and I just got ourselves ready and now I am trying out a very interesting water that I found in the supermarket. It's a collagen water. Never seen that before. Seems to be good for your skin and your overall well-being. It is tasting like raspberry and ginger. So let's try that first to start the day hydrated. Tastes like raspberry and ginger. Quite good, sparkling water. Very interesting. Beauty drink to start the day right. Guys, I have to quickly show you something very special. I wanted to keep it secret and dedicate an own unboxing video to that, but honestly, I can't limit myself. It's so nice that I have to wear it today right away. It's looking so so good and it matches my outfit so perfectly. So if you've been watching this video until here, you get an exclusive sneak peek or preview of a very very special bag that I found yesterday. So we went to the Goya store at the Rue Saint-Honoré and this was definitely on my Paris wish list. Well, this is the correct side. 
This was definitely on my Paris wish list. I wanted to get a bag from Goya because there are not so many stores in the world and Paris is probably the most romantic place to get a Goya bag because this is where the brand comes from. I obviously have been lucky and found something and it is a mini Anjou in the black and black colorway but not a normal basic one, but one with a little print detail here on the front. As you can see, it is a golden heart, golden metallic with the Goya lettering. And guys, I am so, so happy with this bag. It is such a nice find. I was also checking out the shopping tote, so I tried on the Saint Louis and the Artois, but the Anjou was from the beginning my favorite. It was the first bag that I was considering to get from Goya and I ended up going for this one. I will tell you all the details about the shopping experience at Goya at the own dedicated unboxing video where I will tell you also details about the price. So stay tuned for that video but for now I just couldn't hold myself back. I had to show you this bag because I, I want to wear it today. I just can't wait and it is so so pretty and I think it perfectly matches my look. So what I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing my mango wool blazer and below that I have a black cashmere knit. I think this one is for mango. I have a pair of Zara shorts and my MS belt. Then I'm wearing a pair of brown tights from Calcedonia. My Chanel high boots and my lovely new little bag. And the sunglasses of the day are my new favorites, these golden metal Celine ones. I love their look. And that's it. Ready to go? <laughs> Sun is coming out. So lovely. We've not really seen the sun for the past few days because it's been raining but it looks like a beautiful day today The Christmas decorations are still in the making. While well, at Chanel, we already see the pearls up again. Seems like it's the same decoration as last year. Kitsune for a quick breakfast, cappuccino as usual, and then we got a matcha chocolate cookie. Let's try. Mm. Mm. Very good. And then the plan for today is to go to the LV Dream exhibition. We have some tickets for 11. And after that, we'll probably stop by the MS Sadler store, which is a little bit more soft. And one thing that I noticed is that it seems like the cafe has been redesigned. I'm not even sure if it's exactly at the same address. I mean, it's in the same area, but the store looks completely different. There's now a green marble counter. I will include some shots so you will definitely see it. And if you compare it with my Paris video from last year in December, you will see it looks completely different. So it looks like it was completely redesigned or completely new coffee shop. But it looks very nice, but you can't sit inside anymore. So there's only this seating area outside. In the previous shop, you could sit inside too. It was not very spacious, but at least you had some, some high chairs at the wall. But they removed that completely. So I feel like it has become a little bit smaller than the one that was here before. And then we also have here a matcha financier. Also very delicious. Quick outfit check of my boyfriend. <laughs> what are you wearing today? I'm wearing my Löwe scarf. Love it. My Ami Paris wool jacket. 
This is from cardigan, cardigan. from H and M. Glasses, slim. <laughs> and the pants are. And the shoes. Six. They're so nice. I love it. And our beloved Gucci. What Handbag. is this handbag? <laughs> Where the camera equipment is in. Bonjour, Monsieur. Oui. Ça va? Look at my beauty! So stunning! We have been successful, secured some souvenirs and a Christmas present for my mom. And now we are heading to La Samaritaine. I have just spotted an own bag to carry your baguette. We have an own bag to carry your cheese. How fancy is that?
lovely. But at least we got a little bit of sun today in the morning. And behind me, you see the Eiffel Tower. So now we are heading to MS to the Savile store. I'm planning on getting some pieces of the makeup collection. I've seen that they've recently also launched eye color palettes and a mascara. So let's see if they have it. Good morning guys, it's our last day in Paris today and the plan is to just enjoy it to the fullest. We only leave in the evening so we have an entire day ahead of us. First things first, we will get a coffee of course and then we want to take some photos, some outfit shots. I have a very nice shooting location, a very beautiful bridge with the most stunning view on Parisian house facades and there's also supposed to be a photo booth nearby so we'll probably stop by there to catch some memories as we already did in Florence I love to collect those little photo strips on our trips whenever we have the possibility to pop by whenever we spot such a photo booth and then we will return to the hotel quickly change into another outfit and then we'll check out and spend the rest of the day in the city. Maybe a few more words on what we did yesterday. We went to the Louis Vuitton Dream exhibition, which is free entry by the way, but I think it's only there until the 14th of November, so probably once this video is up it will already be gone. But it was so nice, it was a really nice exhibition, not too big, but you've got to see lots of the art collaborations of Louis Vuitton and also all the trunks were in focus really really nice and after that we also stopped by the pop-up patisserie by Maxime Frédéric and we of course had to try the Louis Vuitton pastries and what can I say they were delicious we had a chocolate cake and a vanilla pastry and they were both delicious I think the vanilla one was the best thing I've ever eaten in my whole life when it comes to pastries it was so vanillary, if this is even a word, really really good. We also went to the gift shop then where they had some more special Louis Vuitton pieces where I found some nice Christmas presents for my family and we also got some chocolate to bring back home like Louis Vuitton branded praliné. Yes they are expensive but on the other hand this pop-up store was only here for this year or for a couple of months so I thought it's a nice souvenir and something a little bit more special as a souvenir to bring back from Paris. And after that we checked out the MS Sèvres store. It's the one um, with those big baskets 
It's really stunning. It's a little bit more artsy and less classical than the Fubua store. It's quite big as well and quite casual. So you can just stroll around there, have a look at the products. There's even a nice cafe. And an interesting fact that I was told by Nessie there is that this used to be a huge uh, swimming pool. So on the ground floor where there are the baskets and the selling area, there used to be water and people used to jump inside from the top. Very interesting, I didn't know that. And yeah, I got some beauty stuff there. Some for me and some again as Christmas presents and that's about it. Then on the way back home we stopped by the Rodin Museum which is also worth a visit. I think it is really, really nice if you're into Rodin, his art and especially sculptures and also it's worth it just because of the building. I'm sure you know this shot of this beautiful staircase and the black and white floor. Of course we also got it. So Instagram content is the cute. That's it for now. Let's get this day started. This is my shoe lineup for this trip plus the Chanel high boots which are already packed. You see the focus was on comfy sneakers to be able to walk in all day. I think we made every day at least 10 kilometers or a little bit more. These ones here are always a safe choice, new balance. Then these ones I got recently as well as these ones, they're both new. So I will wear them for the first time today, but I know that they're comfortable because I already have them in other colorways. So let's pick the brown Lodangs for today's look, which I will show you later in detail. Alright, quick fit check. Most important essential umbrella. This one is from Amazon. I really love it because it's transparent. Then I'm wearing a Zara wool coat, a Massimo Dutti cardigan, a Zara striped t-shirt from the men's section, my MS belt, a pair of Aritzia effortless pants in chocolate brown, and my Nike low dunks in I think the colorway is called Coco. And then I have my classic pattern black. <laughs> 